Royal Art Academy, in conjunction with Nollywood Workshop, presents the premiere of the movie Code of Silence. Go and yeah. order for one full trail of condom. It's when I enter there, we need to enjoy it. Starring Kofi Ajololo. No one will sleep until we find the condom. Omoni Obuli. Touch. Iniedo and more. Black to death or something even worse. The movie was produced and directed by M.M. Isang. with Chris Enning as co-director. And Bola Adewo as writer and associate producer. premiered at the Silverbird Galleria with loads of celebrities in attendance. Pam Pam by Ketchup This video is a masterpiece by 6060 Taste Ketchup and he titles it Pam Pam. The first line of the chorus already gets you hooked to the rest of the song as it takes you back to the 90s song by Shaggy, It Wasn't Me. Very funny video depicting his escapades with various ladies, huh? Cool visuals and dance steps, funny story, and all around entertaining piece. <laughs> Enjoy a bit of it some more. Brad Pitt is not easy, said Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie recently wrapped up filming for a much anticipated directorial feature, By the Sea. The movie stars Angelina and her husband Brad Pitt and is about a deeply unhappy couple on vacation in France who becomes involved with a pair of newlyweds staying at the seaside inn. In an interview with the Directors Guild of America, Angelina got candid and revealed what it was like directing herself and Brad, saying, I'll be directing myself and him in the scene when we are having a fight, and I'll be pulling out the parts of him that have an aggression toward me or when you're frustrated with each other. It was very heavy. She then added that she and Brad were able to make light of the situation. We kept joking that all of the crew felt like they were living in a house where the parents were fighting and you don't know where to stand or where to look. In the end, the couple made it through and finished the film. We're proud of ourselves for being brave enough to try it, Angelina said, adding, I think By the Sea was the hardest film for me. Of course, this isn't the first time Angelina has worked with her family on a film. Just recently, the Oscar winning announced that she and her son Maddox would be traveling to Cambodia to work on her new Netflix movie and will always remember when she and Brad fell in love on the set of 2005's Bester and Mrs. Smith. Mm. Box Office Fantastic Four Bombs with $26.2 million weekend. 
Fox's hopes of rejuvenating the comic book characters and turning the super team into a cinematic juggernaut to rival X-Men have flamed out given that the film debuted to a dreadful $26.2 million across 3,995 theaters with a production budget of $120 million plus millions more in marketing costs. The film will need to get a substantial boost from foreign crowds to avoid being a write-off. The studio was banking on a cast of up-and-coming actors like Michael B. Jordan and Miles Teller and the Wonder Kid director in the form of Chronicles Josh Trank to push the human touch, The Thing, Invisible Woman and Mr. Fantastic into the modern era, but production difficulties may have doomed the project. Trank reportedly exhibited bizarre behavior on set that was so extreme it cost him his gig, directing a Star Wars spin-off. He seemed to acknowledge those tensions, blaming studio mandated reshoots for the poor critical notices in a tweet that he subsequently deleted. Fantastic Four's opening is well below the $40 million plus debut that most analysts had projected and chose the $56 million launch of 2005's Fantastic Four and the $58 million bow of 2007's Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer is the worst opening for a movie featuring Marvel Comics characters since Ghost Rider The Spirit of Vengeance debuted to $22.1 million in 2012. AC Cinema Score means that word of mouth is going to be toxic. Mm.